Women's Beautiful and Gigantic Yams for the Sweet Smoky Yam side. But talking about big and gigantic, take a look at this! Because we will need some Brussels sprouts as well for Brussels sprouts. And of course, a huge head of orange cauliflower. Any color is more than fine. What else do we need? Some brown sugar, salt, cilantro, and of course, we need to bless our food with good intention. But stay tuned! Of course, the ceremony. I do this every time because I believe in food with intention. And I really recommend you to try this ceremony at home. Bless the chef first. Let's bless the chef. And now let's bless our food, our table. Let's bless our Brussels. We literally do this ceremony. Pachamama every morning. So for me, food with intention is always different. It's always different. The first step is grabbing the yams. Don't peel the yam, just grab the yam and let's start cutting the yam half. Because I like it with skin. Don't ask me why. I... Okay, so what do we need to do here? We need to cut in little squares, okay? If it's too small, it will lose the magic in the dish. Remember, this is a side. Compost. My worms will love this. I love yams. As a vegan person, I know how difficult it is to have beautiful sides or yummy food sometimes in restaurants. And I think this is amazing. For example, every time I go to Pachamama and I want a snack, let's go with sweet smoky yam. And it's healthy and it's so easy to make. We are a restaurant that respects the season of every uh, vegetable. I know that yams is a great season. I know that cauliflowers are a great season even with Brussels. So every time I build a menu, I try to focus on the thing that we have in our garden. So now that we have the yams over here, I will grab my pan. I will spread all of these yams. I like to use for the oven veggie oil. Why veggie oil? Because the olive oil, when it's hot, it causes a different effect inside the vegetable. And I prefer it's less ¿Cómo lo puedo decir en inglés? Como que no es tan abrasivo para nuestro cuerpo el veggie oil, por ejemplo. It's not harmful. That's why I prefer the veggie oil. I try always not to use or abuse of the oils. A little bit is enough. And we place it in the oven. Let's go, come on. We have the oven ready. Let's place it over here. More or less is between 10 to 15 minutes and that's it, okay? And we can continue with our Brussels. Why? Because it's the same process, okay? And remember, this type of paper is the one that our worms love, okay? It can go to compost. For Brussels, it's exactly the same process that yams, okay? The only difference between these three sides is regarding the cauliflower, because it's the only one that we don't put in the oven. I like to clean the Brussels sprout. I love that it's a huge Brussels, but at the same time, remember, if you remove all of these little uh, lips, it will look a little bit better. And of course, compost. We cut it in half, and we do the same with all of these beautiful Brussels sprouts. I think the best way is to have your own garden, because I feel if you live in an apartment in, in a tiny space, you don't have excuse because you can do it either way. And once you start having your own products, you will feel the difference. And I feel if you try one time, you will never stop because the difference is too big. It's yummy. All of this, food for the worms, guys. This is how I compost. So many ways of compost. I would like to teach you how to compost without worms as well. We will get there soon. Let's cook this, guys. Let's grab our pan and let's do exactly the same process. Let's place our beautiful Brussels sprout here. A bit of veggie oil. Again, never abuse so much of oil, so please. <laughs> let's place it here. Take a look at the yams. Mira que lindo los yams. They are almost there. Now we can continue with the cauliflower. Grilled cauliflower on the making. Let's grab this guy. I always have fun cleaning the, the cauliflower. Don't ask me why. Take a look at this. This is a beautiful cauliflower. And what I can do is start cleaning the little heads. And I think this is the fun part when you clean the cauliflower. For example, I go like this and I start removing all the little heads. 
For example, in Pachamama, before having the grilled cauliflower as it is right now, we used to have a steak. The steak cauliflower is literally like this, and you need to cut like this, and it's like a steak. And you do the same, exactly the same, and you have two ways. You can do it as a steak, or you can do it as I am doing like this. And I think this is easier to eat. For example, I have kids, and I know they will grab it like this. <laughs> okay, let's continue, guys. Let's clean this beautiful cauliflower. As you can see, it's pretty easy. Take a look. Food for the worms. Put it here. Okay, now we have the cauliflower heads ready. Let's go to the grill. Let me explain why I always like to mix two oils. This is a veggie oil, this is a sesame oil. What it gives is a roasted flavor to my vegetables. And remember, we are Peruvian Japanese fusion. Okay, here we go, guys. Todos. Happy food for happy people. Until golden. And then, just then, I start with the brown sugar. This is the most important part of these three dishes. All these three dishes go with a brown sugar. Why? For caramelization. Imagine this, sesame oil and the caramelization together. Oh my gosh. Yes, of course, it's healthier. Brown is best, like my skin color. These guys, goes with teriyaki and a jalapeno sauce on the corner, of course, to dip the cauliflower. We will make it together. Now is a good time to start with the brown sugar. Why? Because we are seeing now the little golden aspect of the, of the cauliflower. Here we go, caramelization. Everything that I cook during the day, then I'm craving this at 3 a.m. <laughs> Like literally yesterday. Nice, right? Okay, guys, we are more than ready. Come with me. Presentation. The dipping sauce is this. Teriyaki glaze. Okay. Yeah. My customers at Pachamama, they love to dip this. Oh, yeah. Even this, my worms will love it as well. <laughs> Even the jalapeno. Pretty easy to present, okay? Try to be less messy than him, please. As you can see my pan, I will still do the sides in this pan. Why? There you go. Don't clean it. <laughs> ay, 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 this is amazing. Okay. Favorite part, <laughs> ask me why. I love chopping. <laughs> I'm the chopper number one at the restaurant, eh? Okay, here we go, guys. Cilantro, always color. Mm -hmm. Voila, green cauliflower. Same process, let's go. Same pan, two oils, veggie oil, sesame oil. Here we go again. What do we do first? The yams, let's do the yams. Now that this is hot, and we know that this is already pre-cooked, okay? Remember, this takes time. The yams are really, really hard. It's a hard veggie. That's why we are putting it before 15 minutes in the oven. So when we place it in the pan, it's already with the caramelization, and in less than three minutes, you have the dish. The same is with the brussel. Why? Because the brussel takes more time to cook. Not the same with the cauliflower. That's why we change the process. So let's begin with this, guys. The process of caramelization is one of those processes that I love to see. Okay, you guys, let's present the dish. Sweet, smoky yams. Let me taste. Oh! Oh! Amazing. Okay, same. Mm -hmm. Try it with ponzu. Please dip this in ponzu and taste it. The combination, it's a happy combination. You need to try this. Make it at your home, please. Okay, let's continue the last side of Pachamama restaurant, Brussels sprouts. Come on. See some oil, guys. Always remember. 
You can also do like this. Now let's begin with the caramelization. Remember, this is already pre-cooked in the oven for 50 minutes, so we don't need to wait so much. What are other dipping sauces? For Brussels, I don't use any sauce because I believe Brussels sprout is an exquisite flavor to fill alone without any sauce. The dipping part removes the flavor of this Brussels sprout instead of going up in the flavor. Okay, these guys are ready. Let's present this, okay? Come on. Now you can wash this one. <laughs> Same. Oil with aromatics. And voila. Let's eat, guys. Come on, all together, as always. Yummy, yummy. Thank you so much for watching Cooking with Vic. I hope you can enjoy this. And remember, it's healthy, it's easy, super practical. And please put some love to it. Subscribe to my show. And I will see you again next week. Bye, guys.